Funding for first responder personnel and vehicles would be doubled if said attack leads to more than 80% of national population being affected by classified. Six to ten genes, typical of a paramix of virus, Godzilla, a potentially a mutant on and Frankenstein, of, 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 all in one. Hold on, shit, I'll, I'll call you back. And you've got it in there, haven't you? Welcome to your pestilence, advances in technology. It made it possible to manufacture health prophecy. But it's Psalms 27 too. It says, when the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat upon my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Whether this is literal or not, this is a pretty messed up verse. Terrifying discovery in a Hartford County neighborhood. Body parts strewn across two different blocks. Behind this door, a house of horrors. It's here police say 21-year-old Alexander Kinua confessed to eating the heart and parts of the brain of a missing man. Last week, uh, a 37-year-old Joppa man was reported missing from his home. Investigators started a missing person search and yesterday ended up uh, doing a, executing a search and seizure warrant on a home in the 500 block of Terrapin Terrace. Inside, they found uh, the remains of the victim is identified as uh, Kujo Agye Cody. We're seeing mutations, cannibalistic hunger. Kinyao admitted that he had eaten the victim's, portions of the victim's brain and heart, and investigators found his head and his hands in metal tins in the home. A New Jersey man allegedly cut out his entrails in front of police and then threw bits of his flesh and intestine at them. Two cops responded, kicking in the door, and found Carter in the corner, the station reported. Carter allegedly ignored officers' orders to put down the knife and instead began stabbing himself in the abdomen, neck, and legs. An attempt to pepper spray the bleeding man had no effect. And Carter, disemboweled but responsive, reportedly threw bits of his skin and intestine at the officers. They decided to retreat and call the Bergen County SWAT team. And uh, of course, we had a, an another attack here on June 8th, and it says Walmart zombie tased and muzzled after biting frenzy. And it goes on to say here a hungry man was arrested at a Walmart in Fort Smith, Arkansas, after acting erratic and for biting people. The man's actions has left people wondering why he was on the hunt for human flesh, especially at Walmart when there's so much food to choose from. Now a similar case over the weekend in Lafayette Parish. During the attack, the suspect bit a chunk of the victim's face off. Todd Crater says he was shocked when he was bitten in the face. Crater says he sprayed wasp spray in Giacomo's face to try and stop the attack. Officers came to Walmart to arrest Marshall. He dove behind a counter and tried to hide like that move was going to work. Marshall then tried to bite various officers who came at him while hiding behind the counter. He bit one officer so hard he bled and had to get medical attention. I mean, it's just a horrible story. And when you talk about seeing incidents like this in the past uh, few months, I mean, I know you were talking about one guy who, who would strip down naked, uh, was attacking multiple people, um, and it took a uh, uh, what was it, 15 police officers to subdue him? An otherworldly strength. Yeah, he was uh, running around naked. He was hit by a taxi. He jumped on the taxi, started beating all the occupants in the taxi when the police arrived. It took at least 15 officers to subdue him. Uh, the taser discharges that had no effect on him whatsoever. He took the, the baton for one of our female officers and severely injured her arm with it. Uh, and it took at least 15 officers to be able to contain him. <laughs> Now, Florida police say this 21-year-old man, Brandon DeLeon, tried to bite an officer in a drug-fueled rage. Here's what he told the judge. Say something, Your Honor. I have no recollection of anything that happened that night. And a crazy situation in Palmetto. The Manatee County Sheriff's Office says a 26-year-old went to his girlfriend's house to visit his kids. He barged in, began screaming, stripped off all his clothes, started throwing furniture around the house. Well, another man in the house tried to hold him down, but Baker then bit him in the arm, taking a chunk out of his bicep. <laughs> Deputies arrived, also had a hard time getting him under control. They had to tase him four times after he twice pulled the probes out. Eventually, more deputies got involved. They were able to hold him down. 
This man, Everett Smith III, is accused of attacking two officers in the streets, all while completely nude and covered in blood. Officers got a call about a nude man attacking people in the area of 12th and Comita Street in East Austin. When officers got there, Smith lunged at them. They tased him, but he continued to bite one of the police officers in the leg. Should event occur in urban areas? Jesus. That, that's classified. This crazy story just happened about 24 hours ago in Brazil. This two-year-old boy, Kelvin Santos, has been dead. And his parents were at his funeral about an hour before it was about to officially start. When all of a sudden, the boy sat up in his coffin and clearly spoke out, can I have a drink of water? As he looked to his dad and everyone started to scream. It's rise from the dead like thriller. Far surpassing our darkest nightmares. Should casualties uh, exceed classified body disposal actions shall be halted and associated resources shall be reallocated to classified underground, classified protected birthing centers. just wanted to come on here and let you know about a dream that I had last night and in this dream we kept seeing this guy that kept coming around and he worked for the government I do know that and he was carrying a bunch of syringes around and I remember us just thinking we have got to get out of here we can't let this guy inject us how much of this have you used the blood increased the creature's power like when he gave this injection, the people automatically just started going crazy. It just flicked a switch. The Russian military has announced plans to develop a new zombie gun. The gun attacks the brain and can essentially make the receiving victim insane. Now you may have seen some of my videos about the MK Ultra program. Now, this program deals in this unconscious level. It's an attempt to implant a stimulus response mechanism. So, for example, you would implant a command in a person so that when they hear a key word, which would be the stimulus, they would go and kill someone, which would be the response. It's a stimulus response. In such event as classified spewing, classified escape, are released or otherwise become uncontrollable. I know what they don't want to tell you. The nation's top emergency doctors declaring there is no zombie apocalypse. I'm sorry, this section is classified. Yes, this is a direct quote from the CDC here. It says, and I'm quoting, the CDC does not know of a virus or condition that would reanimate the dead or one that would present zombie-like symptoms. The CDC, of course, reassuring people, look, there are no such thing as zombies, but they did issue a state, which makes more Could it be that the CDC changed their tune because now they're zombies? Everyone is affected. A new Bill of Rights shall be drafted and approved by classified. Having now reviewed the bill, I ask you to please cast your vote.